Hi everybody, it's July 15, 2018. I just got this from a subscriber. Bananas on the brink. Genetically modified bananas to the rescue. This was posted January 2018. Sorry to say, but, uh, well, Medical News Bulletin is late in this information. But really, what this information is about is I guess there was a field study who knows if there was actually a study who the hell knows what <laughs> you listen to people you read things and you don't know if people are telling you the truth or not but the results of a recent field trial show that new genetically modified modified bananas can successfully resist a fungus that has devastated banana crops worldwide. So we've had genetically modified bananas and you know I have eaten pretty much every single day a banana for well since my early 20s and the bananas no longer taste like the bananas I used to eat. The organic bananas that you see in supermarkets, Chiquita, you really think Chiquita is making organic bananas, but it says organic, and these bananas are huge. They're huge. These are not organic bananas that we are eating. They are no doubt genetically modified, whether they say organic or not, because that is how America rolls, okay? They can say whatever the hell they want to say. It's a bold, outright lie, and we fall for it over and over and over again. Yeah, I buy the organic bananas, <laughs> and I laugh at myself because I know they're not organic. Because the organic bananas that I was eating in Great Barrington that were sold at the co-op, they were really organic bananas. They tasted like bananas, and they looked organic. They were not huge. They were not polished. They were not looking just like, you know, the bananas that sit right next to them that, are, I guess, are not the organic bananas. No. These were very small. They weren't huge. So, 12 bizarre examples of genetic engineering. And this is dated October 2010. Bananas. Bananas. Um, people may soon be getting vaccinated for diseases like hepatitis B and cholera by simply taking a bite of banana. 2010. Vaccines may very well be in our bananas. Is it shocking? Oh, indeed. Researchers have successfully engineered bananas, potatoes, lettuce, carrots, tobacco, to produce vaccines. But they say bananas are the ideal production and delivery vehicle. When an altered form of a virus is injected into a banana sapling, the virus's genetic material quickly becomes a part, a permanent part of the plant's cells. As the plant grows, its cells produce the virus proteins, but not the infectious part of the virus. When people eat a bite of a genetically engineered banana, which is full of virus proteins, their immune systems build up antibodies to, antibodies to fight the disease, just like a traditional vaccine. So, yeah, genetically modified bananas and a vaccine banana. Wow. So, Bill Gates, he really... He really liked that idea. Okay. Uh, vaccine tomatoes, vaccine potatoes, vaccine bananas, vaccine 
lettuce, vaccine, carrots, The fact that the Gates Foundation is behind the GMO Banana 21 program tells you something. The history of the Gates Foundation with their vaccines getting kicked out of India with their polio vaccine. This guy this guy should have been run out of every country. He should be sitting behind bars. He should be injected with vaccines and given polio because that's what he did. And the number 47, it's not 47,000. It's now more. The Gates polio vaccine caused 47,000 kids to have polio paralysis and many died all right just wanted to give you that fabulous information about the bananas that we may all be eating